Hi, I'm Scott. Today I'm going to show you how I refinished this bathtub on Dad It Yourself. Okay, here's the job today. I'm going to reglaze this bathtub. Uh, homeowner tried it once, didn't do very well. Feels that I have the tools and the time to do it a little bit better. So they have hired me to redo that. So in addition to glazing it, I'm going to recock around over here and then work on this corner, see if I can figure this out. Check it out right there. Needs a little help. They did leave me some stuff, but I've also picked up some materials as well. Not a small bathroom, nice and spacious. So plenty of room to work. Let's get started. Hey, so today I'm gonna to be using this kit from Homax, which is made by PPG. It's a tub sink and tile refinishing kit. Uh, customer bought this, so I'm gonna be using this. Uh, if you know paint, you know PPG does paint well. Uh, it's a full complete kit, comes with cleaning pads, uh, hardeners, all the stuff. Uh, I'm going to be rolling this on, not painting it on. Uh, hopefully that will give me a smoother finish. It's a two coat process. And let's try that. I'll have a link to this in the description. As you can see, the uh, homeowner tried to go around this with the sealant and ended up damaging and covering the plug here in the... Uh, material. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all this. I've uh, actually purchased a new one. So we'll get that out of the way and uh, put a new one in after we finish the tub. I'm using one of these. If you ever seen one of these? It's for drain goes in over the cross and then pulls it right out. Uh, I'll have a link to this in the description as well. this trim here and get this cock out of the way. Okay, so off camera, I got the rest of the glue out for that trim, cleaned that pretty up, and then pulled all the caulking out of this corner. And there was some water damage here. I'm gonna have to come back and patch that drywall as best I can and then track down some touch-up paint. And here's the other end over here. Not as bad. All right, so I have my Ryobi Orbital Sander with a 220 grit paper on it. We're gonna go ahead and smooth this out, scuff it up, get rid of some of the high spots that the homeowner left, and then prep this thing for cleaning and then lay the first coat. Let's get started on the prep. is to prep, is to sand this thing down with this uh, ot steel wool all over all the surfaces. It does a really good job of kind of feathering in where the paint has come off and it's back to the original tub and uh, gives me an idea of where some of the spots that need a little bit more attention are. Okay, next step, water wash down, warm water uh, with trisodium phosphate, TSP. And a nice warm sponge, just wipe it down, gotta do it twice. So, here's a surprise to me. This is 99% isopropyl alcohol. I have to wipe this thing down, so I had to run over to the house and get some of this. So let's wipe this down and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, I'm going to 
give that a few minutes to air dry. So it's going to take 48 hours for the paint to cure, so I won't have time to put tape on that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the spackling right here first, and that will cure up in about an hour, and then I'll be able to tape that off if I need to while I'm doing the painting. So I got to do the spackle here and at the other end. That came out pretty good. So the applications here are a thin coat, wait three hours, and then another coat, and if you need a third coat and you have enough, three hours and put that final third coat out, and then let it cure for 48 hours. So I'm going to trim in the edges with the brush first, and then I have a roller, and I'll roll the rest of it out. Let's get started on that. So there's the first coat, went on really nice. Uh, in the directions it talks about painting to the wet edge, and they actually mean it. The stuff gets pretty sticky pretty quick, but you can feel that wet edge and know that you're connecting in well. So, we'll see in three hours when I put the second coat on. So it's the next morning, three coats, three hours apart. I actually finished up a little after 10 o'clock last night. Looks pretty good. It's not great, but uh, better than it was. Uh, Today is all about uh, doing all the caulking, putting the trim down over here, and if I can find the touch-up paint, cleaning that up over there and over there, and this project will be done. So when you do caulking, you just want to take a little teeny bit off the tip. I mean, barely enough to get the little poker in if this has the foil shield in it. Uh, it's always easier to put a little bit of caulk down and have to come back than have too much and then all the cleanup that's associated with that. Caulking's done. Looks pretty good. Took a little getting used to that uh, power caulking gun, but once you get it, it's awesome. No more creaking and sore hands or anything. And gotta say, that DAP Quick Seal Ultra, awesome. Water cleanup, good for tile and tub. That's gonna be my new favorite. Okay, final steps. Gotta put the hardware in. Uh, got an adapter here, right here. That goes in here so that that can fit in there with a little bit of plumber's putty right around the base to make that seal. Gotta get the plumber's putty on there. piece. This one already has a bracket in it. Sometimes when you take the one with the latch or the lever out of it, you have to put a, an adapter in here, but don't need to do that here. So nice and easy. The only thing you got to worry about is making sure the little lip with the hole in it. This was my first time actually doing this and it was a lot harder than I thought, but it's not impossible. It took me about four or five hours. Most of the time was waiting for paint to dry. There's actually a three hour wait period between each layer. I did three coats. It's pretty dry here on the top, a little tacky still on the bottom. It needs about 48 hours of fully cure town, and then this will be able to be used. If you have any questions or suggestions, put those down below in the comments. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right there. Thanks for watching. Data yourself.